Today I'm going to show you how I made this tumbler for the TumblrCon Instructors Challenge. We were challenged to use unusual items and they were pulled out of a hat. We had to add pom-poms, dirt, and googly eyes, and this is what I came up with, and I can't wait to show you, so let's get started. Today we will be working on a 20 ounce tumbler from The Still Magnolia. I will have a discount code linked for you down in the description. I am just taking my 80 grit sanding block and giving it a good sand. And then I am going to take two blue paint colors. These are chalk paints, but you can also use acrylic paint. And I'm dipping my brush half in the light blue and half in the darker blue. And I'm just going to paint most of my tumbler down till we get to about leave about a fourth of the tumbler unpainted on the bottom as we are going to add some dirt later on um, this took me two coats to get it done really well but I just did the exact same technique both times For the bottom unpainted section, I am just taking a light brown color and I am going to paint the bottom, but not paint it in a straight line. I'm going to leave it kind of wavy like we are creating heels. While that bottom section is drying, I'm just gonna ball up a little bit of paper towel and dip it in some white paint. And we are going to make clouds by just tapping a teeny tiny bit of paint on, dabbing a majority of it off, and then I kind of start thicker in the center and then kind of make the clouds a little bit thinner towards the ends. Now that your bottom section is dry, we are going to add the dirt. And I took some Mod Podge and I am going to coat this on fairly heavy. My dirt has a little bit, bunch of little rocks and stuff in it. So I really needed that dirt to stick. Now I'm just going to take my dirt and sprinkle it on that wet Mod Podge. We're going to let that Mod Podge and dirt completely dry and then I am taking some polycrylic and I am going to seal this up really well. I just ended up squirting it on and dabbing it with my fingers. We really wanted to lock that dirt in and this will also make sure that your epoxy doesn't get soaked up a ton right here. So we want to make sure this is coated really well and then you're going to let this section dry all the way before we move on. For 
for the pom-poms, I knew I wanted to cut them somehow and kind of make them lay a tiny bit flatter on the tumbler. And if you cut a pom-pom, they just kind of fall apart. So I kind of had to get creative here. And I did a little bit of trial and error and found out that if you put some in a bag, squirt in some polycrylic and just really squish them in that polycrylic. You can set them out like overnight is what I did um, on some parchment paper. And then that kind of just seals it all together and you're able to cut them later. Once your polyacrylic over that dirt is completely dry, we are going to add a layer of epoxy. While that epoxy is still wet, I have a little bit of epoxy left over and I have added some white pigment paste to that epoxy and we're just gonna lay it over the clouds. I like to kind of give you like a little dollop in the center and then I just kind of string it out straighter on the sides. This will just give a little bit more added texture to those clouds and make them a tiny bit softer as well. Then I'm just going to dip my popsicle stick in there and give these little straight lines really thinly across that blue sky. Once that epoxy layer has cured, you're going to grab two colors of green paint, one being darker, one being lighter, and a smaller, thinner brush. I am just going to lay down some of this dark paint using my paintbrush and making a stem for the flower. Now the flowers are pom-poms. We knew they were gonna be a little bigger, so I just kind of guessed on how big the stem and leaves needed to be comparatively to the flower. And while that green, dark green paint is still wet, I am just going to take the lighter green and go right over the top, and that will add a little bit of dimension to your stem and leaves. Now I'm going to add my decal so I can place these little critters around based on where I have placed this. Once that is on, I am just going to take and place the frog and snails in the dirt part and then the bee, the bird, and the dragonfly up in the sky. Now we are going to take our pom-poms that we soaked in the polycrylic. They should be completely dry by now. And we're gonna cut each pom-pom in two thirds. Now we are going to place these cut up palms on our tumbler right around the stem. And I am just going to place them on with some UV resin. You will need five little sections of that pom pom per flower. Once you have your flower shape the way you would like it, take your UV lamp and cure that resin. 
Now for the center of our flower, I just took and cut one of those little sections a lot smaller, added a dot of UV resin, and added the palm to the center, and then once again cured that with my UV light. Then I took those little googly eyes and added them to all of my little critters. I just added a dab of UV resin and then also cured those with my UV light. Now that you have all of your flowers and eyeballs on, I took some epoxy and started around the flower and just making sure that was really coated. And then as it kind of leveled out and we had all that extra spilling out, I just wiped that and coated the entire tumbler. Once you have your entire tumbler epoxied, you can see that some of the epoxy wants to kind of pool around those pom-poms. So I just took a silicone brush and kind of just removed a little bit of that excess epoxy and wiped it on a paper towel. And here is our tumbler all finished in kind of a weird little quirky way. It still kind of turned out pretty cute. I know my seven year olds sure loves it. This just goes to show you with a little bit of an imagination and creativity, we can still use untraditional items and make a darling tumbler. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching.